Happy Saturday, guys. So today's workout is for time. 30 minutes, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10 of kettlebell swings, burpees, and calories. This workout um, is meant to work on your aerobic capacity. So we want to um, really try and keep a good pace throughout the workout and not really take long breaks or have to take breaks because of muscle fatigue. So with kettlebell swings, that's most likely where it's going to happen. And I want you guys to use weights today that will allow you to finish the 50s in about two to three sets and you're taking nice quick breaks in between. So for example, you do a set of 30, rest for about 10, 15 seconds, then do a set of 20. And then you move on to the next movements. Um, remember, again, the reps are going down, so you might not have to break as much as you go down. And I, I would encourage you to try to hang on longer as you move down to the 30s, 20s, and 10s there. Uh, burpees will be a little slower, but really try to find your rhythm and connect your breathing with your movement to allow you to take your mind off of the actual fatigue that's uh, setting in at the time, and allow you to find a good um, cadence as you're doing that. So um, think about your breathing, um, really connect it with how you're doing your movements there, how you're going down and you're standing up. Really think about those things, um, and it'll help you um, stay a little bit longer and, or last longer throughout those 50s and 40s. And then remember the 30, 20, and 10, you're over halfway and at that point, you're gonna be almost done that workout. Calories, um, if you don't have a machine at home, um, we can change up, instead of doing 50 burpees again, I don't want you guys doing 100 burpees, you could try um, substituting this for a run. So I would say the 50 calories should take you about maybe three minutes to four minutes. So you can do like an 800 meter run here um, and then decrease down, uh, maybe go into um, like a 600 meter run there, 400 meter, 200 meter, and then a 100 meter run at the end. Um, you can play around with changing it that way. Um, or if you have a machine like a treadmill that can track calories, you can also do that. Or skip it up or change it to skipping. You guys can go for um, 100 double unders, then go for 80, 60, 40, and 20. It's another way to switch it up so you don't have to do burpees again. And the time limit, guys, is 30 minutes, so try to aim to finish all this um, within there. Plenty of time to get it done. Again, the first two move, first big sets at the beginning are going to be slow. Then you're going to be able to pick up your pace after that. After burner today, just going to stretch it out and do the pec stretch and the lat stretch we've been doing in the past. Um, and again, try to play around with different styles of it, uh, move around and try to really breathe in each of those positions. Hope you guys enjoy the workout and the after today. We'll see you next for the warm-up video. All right guys, so we're here for that warm-up. We're gonna start off with some quick uh, joint mobility for those uh, ankles. So we're gonna do some lateral uh, ankle tilts. So you're gonna stand uh, in that hip width stance, then you're gonna put that foot forward that you're gonna go for those tilts with. You're gonna stay nice and tall, look straight ahead, and then you're gonna roll that ankle out to the side. So in that lateral direction, really slowly with um, a nice flow to it, so make sure it's not really choppy. Um, I don't want you guys going way too fast out to the side. Really try to focus on the ankle joint, rolling up to the side, and then back in again. You're gonna do five on one side, then switch your stance, do five on the opposite side. Again, go nice and slow, looking straight ahead and staying tall. Then we're going to go into medial tilt, so we're going to roll that ankle inwards this time. We're going to go into a wide stance here, bend the knees a little bit, and we're going to roll that ankle inwards, then back to that center position. We're going to go five again with that left leg, and then switch five on that opposite side. So again, focus here is really trying to move that ankle inwards with the medial tilt and the lateral tilt. We're trying to push that ankle out to the side as much as we can. After that guys, we're going to get into that uh, warm up. So we're going into three sets here. We're starting off with a uh, quick little complex, six and six Spider-Man lunges plus a side kick through. So kind of from that animal flow you might have followed yesterday, uh, that's one of the moves you'll see there guys. We're going to start in our push up position. We're going to bring our foot forward into that um, lunge position here. We're going to drop that elbow down feeling that stretch, then we're going to bring that foot back, then we're going to lift that one leg up, get that foot through, making sure that elbow is locked up, my hips are all the way open, my foot is out, bring
bring that foot back into the center position and we can do the opposite side. So bring that foot to that Spider-Man lunge. Back here, then we're gonna roll out to the side, hips open, then back to that neutral position. So six total on, or sorry, six per side here. Once you're done that, find yourself um, a weight or two weights here. You're gonna go for some single-legged uh, deadlifts with a fly at the end, so uh, arm fly there. We're gonna really try to get to a position we feel stable before we do that fly. So we're gonna come down nice and slow, find that position we're stable, then we're gonna go for that nice fly there, squeezing our back, back in again, then open up the hips. Same thing, go back down with that same leg, stable position, back nice and flat, go for that fly, back in again, and then stand all the way through. Notice my back leg was a little bit bent there, so try to keep that leg straight as well. It'll help with your balance. So bending over, keeping that leg nice and straight as best you can. Fly, and then back up again. Eight on one side, then eight on the opposite side, guys. Once you're done with those flies, with one weight here, we're gonna go for another complex again. Front rack lunge plus a knee raise at the end. So we're gonna hold that uh, weight on that one side and we're gonna lunge with the opposite leg. So we can go for that reverse lunge. Legs going back here. Then we're gonna stand up through it and bring our knee as high as we can. Then go back to that neutral position. So again, front rack position, elbow nice and tall. We're gonna reverse lunge, keep that chin nice and vertical to the floor. Then I'm gonna come up for that knee raise, then back to that neutral position. So when you do the opposite side switch and do the same thing, so again, going for that first lunge, staying tall, really trying to load the hamstring and the glute, then at the top, we're gonna go for that knee raise, and then back down again. So 10 and 10, 10 on the left leg, 10 on the right leg, and then we'll repeat those sets two more times to get ourselves ready for the workout. We'll see you guys next for the workout. So for your kettlebell swings, something new that I want to talk about here, guys, um, that sometimes maybe we miss, we don't uh, mention it enough, is your knee position. So I will see when the kettlebell is going down, things look awesome. As soon as you're about to shift your weight to go up, sometimes I'll see the knees shift. You may not even notice that. But when your knees shift, your weight is now transferring to mid foot to the front of the foot. So now I got my uh, lifters on, but you can still see my that the weight is off my heels. So now I'm pushing and driving my hips through my quads. So knee position on the rebound is very critical. So when you go back up, don't let your knees scoot forward too quickly. Okay, keep your knees somewhat back to create tension in those hamstrings to get everything out of your hips but coming from the hamstring opposed to your quad. This is such a common problem that is seen on Olympic lifts, whether it be the jerk, whether it be the clean or snatch. This is your time where you can fix that knee position, which is for Olympic lift is that second pull. When you're transitioning from the first to second pull. Now, if that's too complicated, or you're not sure what that means, ignore me, just focus on the knee position on your kettlebell swing stick. Where are you positioning your rope? For your burpees, then from there, you're gonna go into your burpees. So three to five burpees, finding that rhythm of what the speed is gonna be. Are you stepping into it? Are you jumping up for it? Play around with it. What works for you, okay? All right, guys, welcome to the Afterburn. Hope you got a good workout. We're gonna start with that pec stretch. So we are doing 90 seconds per side. First one we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna get you planting your hand onto that wall, so I'm actually pushing my palm into the wall and then locking my elbow out and then I'm just going to turn my feet in the opposite direction. So I'm just trying to walk my feet away more and more, upper body comes with it. Now you can play with your position here on the wall a little bit higher, you might feel a little bit more in the pec. Remember, you might be tempted to bend your elbow, try to avoid that. 90 seconds per side on that, then we're going to get into a lat stretch. 
So for the lat stretch here, guys, if you have a tennis ball, a cross ball, any type of uh, ball will work here. I want you guys to think about working that lat right where the, kind of on the outside of that armpit, back right underneath the shoulder. And you're just gonna put that lacrosse ball into that area of the lat, and you're gonna lean up against that wall. You can go try to play around with this position where you're leaning more into it. You can twist a little bit more onto the back of that lat, or you can go a little bit down the lat and also add movement. So I find whenever I find a spot that's a little bit knotted, I add a rotation in that arm and shoulder, maybe do a press back and forth. And you're just gonna fish around for areas that feel a little bit uncomfortable. We're gonna get uncomfortable here. Uh, you can also try this one on the ground. I prefer the ground actually more than the wall. So try both, see what one feels a little bit better. And remember when you find that spot that kind of seems to take your breath away a little bit, remember to breathe through it. Thanks guys and we'll see you tomorrow.